I the lithograph of Willem Dafoe? Emerson Film. Yes, we know we're no ACI, damn it. Wanted for murder. Six beliefs. One. Your friend is not a chair. Two. Five. (laughs) Miscounting a murderous belief. These publin, they are ideas and beliefs. Murderous beliefs which can lead to tragedy. Four or five murderous beliefs, give or take. 80,000 people each year, enough to fill a huge college football stadium. Every year, there are millions of people badly hurt, many of them crippled. One of these beliefs may be about to murder you. So look closely. Death takes a dump on us all at some point. Do you believe safety is for sissies? Come on, gray people. Beat those other gray guys. Man, when I saw you stretched out down there on the field after that pile, I thought you hurt real bad. You can tell by my voice I was really busted up about it. I guess so. Yeah. So, we we'll on. See you. Oh, oh. Okay, see you. Jim, how's the shoulder? Pretty good, thanks. Well, tough luck, but... Come I'm trying to grow a rhino horn, but it's just not coming in. You're starting to go, and I didn't want to take time out just to play safe. Well, safety is a pretty important thing, too, Jim. Also, please stop wearing a pajama top to school, Jim. Well, you proved your point, but I wonder if the price you paid was worth it. By the way, we're having a meeting of the aviation club this afternoon, having a test pilot come out to give us a talk. Are you going to be there? Sure will. I think you'll find it enlightening. Name's Aldrin. Might punch someone. Check it out. Hmm. It was not enlightening. <laughs> it's actually an American Airlines flight. There are 30 people crammed in there and the toilets are overflowing. <laughs> punch, punch. Try a customer down aisle. Hello, I'm here! <laughs> Tough crowd. (laughs) Well, that's about all there is to it. Any questions? Isn't it terribly dangerous? Well, it does have its moments. Like when half of us die in fiery crashes. The aircraft is fit, and the pilots always try and meet any emergency that may come up. Test pilots don't wear parachutes, do they? We certainly do. One in front and one in back. But we'd but die before we ever deployed them. That would well, be cowardly and shameful. Be really brave and... Whoa there, young fella. Now remember one thing. There's a big difference between bravery and foolhardiness. Sure, I'd rather not be all rigged up in bulky shoots. I'd rather but be face down in a Shanghai things. opium den with three Chinese yeah, hookers. Captain, Just please restrict your talk to matters of safety. We're not oh, cowards, certainly. but we're not fools either. We've got a dangerous job to do, and the safer we play it, the better we can do it. I will die doing something stupid, you'll see. Don't be (laughs) foolish. Safety is for everybody. Stop being a victim of this belief that safety is for sissies. Uh, My name's Ron Sissy. Are you saying safety isn't for me? Uh, No. Uh, Well, maybe. Uh, Look, see me after the film, sissy. Okay. Do you believe accidents happen only when your number is up? The things are determined by fate. What are you, a Hindu or something, you freak? One of these girls is guilty of this murderous belief. That murder is good. Just what I've been looking for, except in pale blue. If they have a murderous belief. Try it on. Maybe we'd better wait until some other time. It's getting late and driving home in rush hour is no fun. Dangerous, too. Oh, don't be silly. We'll be all right. If your number's up, you'll get hit. And if it isn't, you won't. The title should be Six but Colossal Idiots. Across the street. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Maybe you want to ride home. I'll go ask. I guess they spotted Bob using their x-ray vision. Those giant dice came out of nowhere! Whose foolish belief in fate <laughs> cost her her life. She didn't get killed because her number was up. Her murderous belief killed her. With an assist from the drunk forklift operator. Belief. Do you believe accidents happen because of a law of averages? Oh, Beetle Bailey's looking gaunt. Do you believe that a mathematical chance is more important than what you do? 
and actually determines whether or not you have an accident? No. That's my horoscope's job. That's interesting, Dad. What's it going to be? Well, these are the leg pieces for that lawn chair in the do-it-yourself book out there, Billy. They've all well, I said what's interesting. So we'll line them up and saw them off together. Can I try it? Oh, no. We'll give you some experience with hand tools first, then you can try the power tools. I'll be careful. Yeah, I know. That's what all the guys say. Jerry Garcia, well, Django sure. Reinhardt, Mordecai Three Finger Brown. I just saw some figures on that in my math class. Do you know that only 2% of all the people in the country get hurt in accidents? Billy's giving off a strong 2% vibe. I won't get hurt. Let me try it. No, not this time, Billy. Not until you're smarter than the table saw. Now we're all set. Hey, where's the guard? Oh, we don't need it for this, Bill. That law of averages you talked about will take care of me. Mom died in a tragic egg beater licking accident. Look out there. There's your law of averages for you. Just call me Mr. Butterfingers. I don't care of anything or anyone. Many who believe in the law of averages pay the price through carelessness. These are still the funniest New Yorker cartoons I've ever seen. Hand this time. But faith in the law of averages can be murder. Put it out of your mind. Consult statistics? Ha! You may as well drink cyanide. Belief can lead to murder too. Today, more and more people try to use the price of progress as an excuse for their own laziness and carelessness. Hey, come to this lab often? For this reason, it's wanted for murder. Do you believe accidents are part of the price of progress? No, but they can be really funny. There you are, Mom. All set. Now you won't have to go over to the table to turn the radio off and on. This remote control switch will let you do it right from the sink. I read about it in Unpopular Mechanics. You sure it'll work? Yes, sir. I just took the wires, bypassed the switch in the radio, and hooked them into this switch. Made it myself. Well, it's wonderful to have an electrician in the house to keep us up on the latest scientific advancements. Let's see how your little gadget works. The origin story of Electromom. <laughs> Are you all right, dear? Yes, I guess so. But it was quite a shock. Gee, I'm awfully sorry, Mom. Sorry I won't bring back sure mobility in my right side. I guess that's a price of progress sometimes. Nonsense. If you'd been careful and done the job right in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. Or if you'd moved out when you turned 30. Hurt. And the price of progress is no excuse. Right. Don't blame If I said you had a nice beaker, would you progress. hold it against me? Progress has cut down the death rate in tuberculosis and is on the way to the conquest of cancer. Yeah, any day now. Progress has given you all that you see around you in the way of comforts and entertainment. The same attention to safety that we give to progress will give us more progress with more safety. Uh, who? Don't blame accidents on progress when the real blame lies with you and your beliefs. And your progress. And, and your safety. Out of your mind, too. Accidents don't always happen to the other fellow. So eat a hot dog in the do you pool? They do. I just had a big lunch about an hour ago. This sure tastes good. Mmm, I ate a big lunch too, but I can always force down something good. Jeez. Mom says she doesn't know how I do it. The trick is I throw up a lot. Man, let's go try those dyes we've been practicing. Not me, I'm too full. And you'd better wait a while too. It's not good to go in the water so soon after eating. Might get a cramp. Oh, I've done it lots of times and I never had a cramp. Who had? That's something that always happens to someone else, not to me. My only problem is I sometimes cut out in the middle of my scent. In conclusion, we should exile the Irish. This is my brain on drugs. Cut! Let's go! Over here! I do it, but apparently food cramps are 100% fatal. Marilyn was lucky. She knows someone now who's had a cramp while swimming, and all she paid for the knowledge was a little pain. Also, she wound up marrying that hunky lifeguard, so eat and swim all day, kids. Stop this belief on sight and put it out of your mind. It can be a killer. Unlike cancer, which we cured. Do you think you're lucky, like this driver? Did you see him breeze through the four-way stop at that intersection? What fun, didn't it? The car hadn't stopped. The driver's luck would end right there. Smart passenger, he's getting out. I'm through right here, Harry. What are you scared of, Johnny? My Your feelings! Feeling. That's what I'm scared of. Didn't you see that stop sign back there? Sure, I saw it, but the other car was stopped. 
So why should I? Plus, our hair provides a natural helmet. He could have plowed right into you. Not me, Johnny. I'm lucky. I'm not. I'll walk and be sure I get where I'm going. No more racing trains to crossings or going through stop signs for me. Young Evil Knievel sure changed his tune later. Johnny's words aren't making any impression on Harry. Look at the needle climb up that speedometer dial. Narrator, please don't sound so turned on. Curve warning up ahead. Look out, Harry. That curve's sharper than you think. Paramedics are on their way to say, told you so. is another name for foolishness. Anytime you believe you feel lucky, look out for murder. <laughs> Seems like a terrible way to live, but okay. Unless you take these six beliefs and throw them out of your mind and out of your life. The murderous beliefs are wanted for murder. I gotta say, someone should have seen this coming. Guys. The belief that safety is for sissies. That no matter what you do, your number will come up. Never love. It's not you worth it. That you're protected by some dream called the law of averages. The belief that accidents are the price of progress. You stupid, weak the pieces of... only happen to the other fellow. <laughs> and the belief that an accident can't happen to you because you're lucky. Maybe I'll just kill you myself. Would you like that? What can these six murderous beliefs promise you except a moment of carelessness followed by tragedy or death? Sounds like a bargain. Drop them out of your sight and out of your mind. You'll live longer. Not that you deserve it, you punk. Go to hell. Disgust me. It's time for real Copyright by Rift Tracks. All rights reserved.